Earth, we are creating a world within a world. We've used your holophone photos to map the known universe in high res detail. We're operating the Swipe through air to answer a call. Zoom into a planet just by pinching your fingers in space. Spin a floating blueprint with a flick of your wrist. We've seen it in Iron Man's lab. Minority Report's crime scene reconstructions. Star Wars Jedi Councils. That futuristic tech where holograms float, react and respond to your hands. It's not just movie magic anymore. Right now, a team of brilliant scientists in Spain has built something that looks and feels like it was ripped straight out of a Marvel movie. A real 3D hologram you can see and actually touch. No gloves, no VR headset, no screen, just your hand and a glowing object floating in the air, waiting for you to move it. Until now, holograms were just light shows, cool to look at but untouchable. Even high-end tech from companies like Vox and Photonics let you see 3D images but never touch them. But this new system, it lets you do exactly that. Grab a cube, rotate it with your fingers, or even simulate walking on it using your index and middle finger as tiny legs. Sounds magical? Here's how it works. The magic happens with something called a volumetric display. It projects thousands of images per second, 2880 to be exact, onto a moving surface called a diffuser. Our eyes can't keep up with that speed, so we see one solid 3D shape floating in space. But there was one big problem. Most of these diffusers are rigid and dangerous to touch while moving. So the team swapped it out for a soft, flexible material that doesn't hurt you, but still shows the image. It wasn't easy. Elastic surfaces bend and distort the image. But the team cracked it, correcting the image in real time to make everything smooth and natural. Now think about this, learning complex science in school by assembling 3D engines in midair, exploring ancient artifacts in a museum without glass cases or touch screens, even collaborating on projects where multiple people see and touch the same hologram, all without wearing bulky VR headsets. It's like the digital world is finally stepping into the physical one, from a wild idea to a world first breakthrough. We are now entering an era where reality blends with light and we can finally hold the impossible. And the question is, if we can now grab holograms with our hands, what's next?